Hi guys, this is Rakesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And recently someone asked me that, uh, sir, I have five years of experience and I have worked on SAP ECC. And uh, now I am going into another project which is on S4 HANA. So how difficult it will be? So how much he has to catch up? So to answer this, I will say that since you have already uh, worked on ECC, and moving to S4 HANA should not be a challenge because fundamentally everything is same. Your processes are not changing. P2P process, OTC process, asset uh, acquisition, depreciation, nothing changes. Report, uh, reporting requirements are not changing. It's just the tool. There is some improvement in S4 HANA. Yes, catching up with the new uh, methodology which is HANA Activate will take some time. He has to understand what is scope ID, what does it mean. Uh, what really we do in scope ID, what is business workshops, right? Because the way we used to do earlier implementation and the way we have to do in S4 HANA, there is a lot of change. The approach has changed. So he will have to spend some time learning that. But since he has conceptual understanding and already worked on ECC, it should not be a, um, a very difficult task for him to cope up with S4 HANA. And yes, he will uh, learn about Fury while working in S4 HANA. And uh, it takes only, let's say, two or three days to get hands on Fury. Till now, if you are using uh, T codes in ECC and suddenly you are moving to HANA, the only change is how do you access the application? Rest all the fields inside it, all are same. If you are posting something in FB60, the vendor invoice, right? And now you are using Fury. Inside it, almost everything will be same, but the look and feel will be different. So it, it's a matter of coping up. You just uh, start working on Fury and it will take hardly one week, not more than that, to uh, get along well with the Fury application. So it's not a difficult thing and uh, ultimately uh, you will be able to catch up. Do not forget to like and subscribe my channel and see you soon with the next question. Thank you.